Hello students. Today I am going to explain The Tempest, Act 1, Scene 2, Line 94 onwards. So let us begin. Prospero. Being once perfected, how to grant suits, how to deny them, who to advance and who to trash for overtopping, new created the creatures that were mine. I say, or changed them. So here, Prospero is telling Miranda about his brother Antonio. How Antonio came to power and how Antonio made himself known as the king to everyone and how Prospero was getting neglected by him in his own due term. So let us see. Prospero says, being once perfected, how to grant suits? So here he is talking about Antonio. He says that once Antonio learned how to grant formal requests. Suits refer to formal requests. So once Antonio perfected means once Antonio thoroughly learned how to grant formal requests, how to deny them, how to refuse them, who to advance among his ministers, whom to, whom to promote and who to trash for overtopping and whom to trash. Trash here means whom to control, whom to keep in check. For overtopping, overtopping refers to over ambitious. Now there are certain ministers who were very, very ambitious. So you have to keep them in check. So once Antonio learned all these arts, how to manage the dukedom, how to administer, how to govern his dukedom. Once he learned all these thoroughly, Right? So what did he learn? He learned how to grant formal requests. Secondly, how to refuse or how to deny the requests of people. Thirdly, who to advance? Who are the ministers who should be promoted? And who are the ministers who should always be kept in check? who should always be kept under control because they are over ambitious in nature. Once he learned all these arts of governing, <coughs> he knew created the creatures that were mine. He knew created, he created the ministers, the dependents, the ministers who were once dependent upon Prospero. Now he means Antonio created those ministers in his own way. With his thoughts, with his ideologies, he recreated or he remolded these ministers. These ministers who were once dependent upon Prospero. These ministers who once listened to Prospero. Now, these ministers worked for Antonio because Antonio was creating them according to his own, according to his own way, right? I say or changed them. So, Antonio has also substituted some ministers with other ministers. Means those ministers who were loyal to Prospero. Those ministers were, were, were chucked out of the dukedom and other ministers, right, were appointed by Antonio in their place. Or else new formed them. Means, I told you what he did. He was molding the ministers according to his own way with his own thoughts, with his own beliefs, 
he was molding the ministers in his way so that the ministers who once listened to prospero would now start listening to him having both the key of officer and office so he did this playing the role of the officer means here it means the king the post and power he had both the post of the king sorry not the king he had both the post of the duke as well as he was also exercising all the power of the duke so having both the key of officer and office officer is the duke office is the dukedom so he had both the power and the post of the duke so he did all this set all the hearts in the state to what tuned pleased his ear so he molded the ministers he molded his men in such a way so that they said that which he liked means he made everybody sit uh, sit down and stand up according to his own wish and everybody said that did that which pleased antonio he molded them in such a way that they did what antonio wanted them to do that now he was the ivy which had hid my princely trunk now he had become antonio had become like a ivy creeper you know what is an ivy it is a climber it is a creeper right so now antonio was like a creeper who was hiding my princely my princely trunk behind him so he was hiding he was becoming so prominent a figure that i was being hidden behind him he was becoming so prominent a figure he was becoming so popular a figure in the dukedom that prospero being the duke he was being hidden by him and sucked my verdure out of out on it so what did he do antonio was sucking the verdure verdure means the greenery of the plant which is the strength of the plant so your prospero means to say that antonio sucked the strength out of prospero thou attendest not now prospero again asked miranda miranda you are not listening to me are you paying attention to me miranda oh good sir i do oh good sir i am listening to you i am paying attention to you prospero i pray thee mark me i request you please listen to me please pay attention to me i thus neglecting worldly aims all dedicated to closeness and the bettering of my mind what did i do i neglected my state affairs i neglected all the worldly affairs of my duke down and i dedicated all my time in private in privacy and the bettering of my mind why did i did, did this for improving my mind for improving my state of mind so what does he say prospero says to miranda that he neglected the affairs of his state he neglected the administration and dedicated all his time in privacy dedicated his time to his magic in privacy in secrecy why for the bettering of my mind for improving my state of mind with that which but by being so retired with that which which refers to which refers to the magical powers magical study so i devoted my time 
in secrecy to the study of magic but by being so retired but by withdrawing myself by withdrawing myself from the state from the worldly affairs overpriced all popular rate so what did i do i gave more value to my magic and less value to my state affairs to my duke down to my administration right so according to the common according to the popular opinion what did i do i gave more value to my magic than my duke down and this opportunity was taken by my evil brother antonio in my false brother awakened an evil nature so why when i became busy with my when i became busy with my uh, with my magic with my study of magic my evil brother my evil brother antonio he took opportunity of the situation and an evil nature was born in him an evil nature was awakened in him and my trust like a good parent did begate of him a falsehood just like a good parent trusts his children similarly i also trusted him a lot but my trust resulted in him turning into a false person in its contrary as great as my trust was which had indeed no limit a confidence sans bound so he says that i trusted him so much which did not have any bound which did not have any limit my trust in him was as boundless as as if it had no limit and it did begat of him it produced in him a false man it produced in him my trust my confidence in him produced in him a false person and as i went on trusting him in a limitless way as i went on having confidence in him he went on betraying me he being thus loaded not only with what my revenue yielded but what my power might else extract exact so he being thus loaded he was considered as a lord right he was considered as a lord by the people not only with what my revenue yielded but what my power might else exact so he also started enjoying the income of that came from the revenue so he enjoyed my lordship i was the lord but he enjoyed my power and possession the revenue the income that came in my name were actually enjoyed by him and not only that but what my power might else exact whatever i could command with my power he was commanding everything with his power like one who having into truth by telling of it like like one who goes on saying a lie and starts believing himself that his lie is truth like if i say i am the prime minister and i go on believing that i am the prime minister though i am not so similarly he was not the duke but he went on pretending as if he was the duke and he started believing that it was the truth that he was only the duke made such a sinner of his memory so by believing by accepting a lie to be the truth he became a sinner of his own memory 
something which is a lie. He is not a duke. But he started accepting the fact that he is the duke. He started pretending as if he was the duke. He started believing something which was not truth as truth. So by doing this, what he was doing? He was a he was becoming a sinner of his memory. To credit his own lie, he did believe he was indeed the duke. So in order to make his lie a truth, he went on pretending to be the duke. Out of the substitution and executing the outward face of royalty. Right? So what was he doing? He was enjoying all the rights and privileges of a duke and he was executing all the rights of a duke with all prerogatives prerogatives with all the privileges hence his ambition was growing he was enjoying all the privileges of a duke he was executing all the rights of a duke right so he not only pretended to be a duke but he also made sure that he exercised all the powers and functions of a duke. And thus his ambition was growing. Dost thou hear? Are you hearing to me, Miranda? So today I have taught you till line number 122. In my next video, I will be proceeding with the rest of the scene. Till then, bye bye and thank you.